Cari fratelli e sorelle, continua a seguire con apprensione. I am continuing to follow with concern the tragic and increasing violence in Syria with its depressing sequence of death and injuries also among civilians and huge numbers of internally displaced persons and refugees in neighboring states. I therefore ask that the necessary humanitarian assistance and aid be guaranteed. In renewing the expression of my closeness to the suffering people and my recollection of them in my prayers, I renew my appeal for all violence and bloodshed to end. I ask God to give wisdom of heart, especially to those in positions of greatest responsibility, so that no effort may be spared in the search for peace, also on the part of the international community, through dialogue and reconciliation, with a view to finding an adequate political situation to the conflict. In particular, per quanti hanno maggiore responsabilità, perché non venga risparmiato alcuno sforzo nella ricerca della pace, anche da parte della comunità internazionale attraverso il dialogo e la riconciliazione in vista di un'adeguata soluzione politica del conflitto. Il mio pensiero si rivolge anche alla cara nazione irachena. My thoughts also go to the dear nation of Iraq, which has recently suffered numerous serious attacks that have left many dead and injured. May that great country discover the path to stability, reconciliation and peace. La via della stabilità della riconciliazione e della pace. Tra un anno, proprio in questo periodo, si terrà la ventottesima giornata mondiale della gioventù a Rio de Janeiro. At this time next year, the 28th World Youth Day will take place in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil. It is a valuable opportunity for many young people to experience the joy and beauty of belonging to the church and living the faith. I am looking forward with hope to this event, and I wish to encourage and thank the organizers, especially the Archdiocese of Rio de Janeiro, responsible for diligently preparing for the gathering of young people from all over the world who will take part in this important ecclesial encounter. E ringraziare gli organizzatori, specialmente l'Archdiocese di Rio de Janeiro, impegnati a preparare con cons solerzia l'accoglienza ai giovani che da tutto il mondo prenderanno parte a questo importante incontro ecclesiale. Eseguo con preoccupazione le notizie relative allo stabilimento ILVA di Taranto. I'm following with great concern the news about the ILVA steelworks in Toronto, Italy, and I wish to express my closeness to the workers and their families who are experiencing this difficult time with great apprehension. While giving assurances of the prayers and support of the Church, I exhort everyone to show a sense of responsibility, and I encourage national and local institutions to make every effort to reach an equitable solution to the issue, one which protects both the right to health and the right to work, especially at this time of economic crisis. ...ad una equa soluzione della questione che tutela sia il diritto alla salute, sia il diritto al lavoro, soprattutto in questi tempi di crisi economica.